Hey everybody, welcome back to the second last episode of Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Last time we had a little side adventure with Lizzo and Jack Black. I didn't recognize Lizzo. The only people I'm going to recognize who were famous over the last decade or so uh, and sing? Barely anybody. Taylor Swift? Probably, probably that's, that's probably it. So maybe she'll be in this episode, and I'll be like, hey. Also last episode, Bo-Katan got her saber. It was rightfully hers, because she won it in battle. She beat the, the droid that... Well, it wasn't really a droid, it was kind of a, a little alien creature in a mech suit that captured the sword from Mando. It was a whole line of succession thing, you know? So everybody's like, we'll follow you. So all the... We just have to combine now this group of Mandalorians and the the ones on Navarro, and we're all good. We can take back Mandalore. And... Anything else happen? Ah, oh, Doc Brown. Doc Brown. He, uh... He had some sort of plan. I don't understand it. But he didn't like the way things were. And now he's on the party moon. Living it up. And Grogu is now a knight. For all his help in the last episode. You know, he really went the extra mile with that. He really helped out. So let's get into this one. Man DeLorean. The whole episode, the whole episode, even when we're about to uh, arrest Doc Brown in the last episode, I was like, wait, get your DeLorean. Never, never entered my head that there was a joke to be made. Mm -hmm. Ah. Did she go into her secret meeting? Hello. Red light means friendly to her. The red light of the Empire. Message? Report. Magistrate Cargo was aided by Mandalorians. Which Mandalorians? All of them. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Uh oh. Oh, cool. You wouldn't want to be in a hurry. Cautious. Ooh, cold conspirators. The Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will Ooh, Thrawn. provide Commandant Hutt's time to deliver on Project Necromancer. Project Necromancer. We already received your request. Three Praetorian guards. And what is your security concern? Oh, a bunch of Mandalorians. Mandalorians. They are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalore. We need to stamp them out now. Yep. Yeah. Send everything you've got. You'll have your reinforcements. Get thrown in here. Long live the Empire! Long Shh. live the Empire! Gotta keep it quiet, dude. We're rebuilding. Uh... Do we have to be worried about this? Oh, we do. It's not Imperial. Oh, it's the Mandalorians. How's this gonna go? These two... Uniting? Is it gonna go smoothly? Helmets on or off? Or both? I hope these two groups get along. Yeah, me too. Take the children inside. Yeah, it could get, uh, spicy. Whoa, helmets off. Well, first test. Welcome, fellow Mandalorians. We invite you to make a cup. We're good. I love her voice. She's always so calm. Mando! <laughs> hey, come here for the party? A little welcome gift. Ooh, nice. The good stuff. That's not the only gift I have for you. What? No? Oh, the robot's back! We fixed him! I knew he'd come back into it. How are you doing? Do you want to kill Grogu? He's right there. Oh, he's been... They removed his memory circuit. Okay. The pilot provides cognition. Yes. 
the problem with the, having a pilot is it's going to be really slow, you know? Remember this droid used to spin around and... It's more like a vehicle. Bad baby. No, oh, it's Luigi! <laughs> Let's see if he fits. Robo, got a book Grogu in him? This is good. This is all sorts of weird. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Try it out, Maybe Grogu. Maybe when he's older. No. Oh. What do you mean, no? No. Oh. I think he's saying he's old enough to operate it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get him out of there. No. <laughs> yes. Yes, what? Yes. Yes. He likes it. Yes. He likes it. Yes. He wants it. Yes. He's gonna keep it. Yes. Hello. Yes. Long, 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 long. Oh, Ooh, look at the size of this one. Hey, Google, no. <laughs> <Get it down. laughs> oh no! It, that's gonna cost you. It is time to retake our home world. We leave Navarro and move the fleet into orbit above Mandalore. We'll scout the surface, find out what remains of the Great Forge. Only then will we bring down the others. Sounds like a plan, but couldn't we the rest of us wait here while you do that? I need volunteers. Scaredy droid, you wanna come? I will go. He's already been there. I will go. I will go. Great. What about you, big guy? I will go. Great. Great. I will go. The dream team. Oh, everybody's going. I will go. If you're tenth to stand up, that doesn't count as volunteering. That's peer pressure. Scouting party descending to surface. Go, 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 go. Can we just land? Drop. Nice landing. Careful now. There's all sorts of orcs and things. Landing zone secure. No, oh, okay. That's why they went first. Just in case. There, on the horizon. I don't see anything. Night elves. Night elves. Oh, hello. Look at this sh cool ship-looking thing. It's got masts. You wear the crest of the night owl. I should hope so. You. Yeah. Is that the voice of Lady Bo-Katan Kree? I recognize her. It is? Were they just living here the whole time? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady bo -Katan. Is that Skinny Pete? I met with Moff Gideon. All remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. And then he betrayed me. Never again. I don't know if I can keep everyone together. We just need a common enemy. We can all work together? Lady Kreese. Ooh, Lady Kreese. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. Wow. That's a bit of a change in the dynamic. Those of you who are well enough can join us in the search for the Great Forge. We can do better than that. Oh, they know where it is. We can bring you there. Great. Have you cleared all the orcs for us? Onward, Mandalorians! To the Forge! <laughs> it's such... Remember we had pirates? This is like a pirate ship, but built built by the Wright brothers. Oh, is Moff Gideon gonna be greeting us up here? What are we gonna see? No, oh, nothing. Okay, we're all good. Yeah. Uh. But only the Wing God can flank jump. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Primitives. Submit or fight. He's got a shimmering blade. Oh. Shut it down. We can't afford to fight amongst ourselves. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now that he can communicate, it's kind of cute. A little bit of an odd there. Anything up here? Prepare to receive rescued survivors. Copy gauntlet. They're gonna get blowed up. Oh, still nothing. <laughs> there! On the starboard bow! That's a dinosaur! Godzilla! No more ship! We need to go further down! Go, go, go! Go! Go, go! What's this guy waiting around for? He's, he's shepherding them all like they're, you know, the weak and the in, inv invalid, and he's like, go, 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 why aren't you going, dude? We're all Mandalorians. Where are we? This is what's left of the Great Forge. Oh, we're here. Jetpacks. 
More company? More survivors. Oh, I don't think these are. Those aren't Mandalorians. Nope. Time for battle. Take cover. How they find this place so quickly? Oh, Beskar. Those are the ones that freed Moff Gideon. Fly up through it. We should all have guns like that guy. <laughs> Get back. Are they leading them into a trap? Get out of here. Look at this place. It's a whole base. A secret base. Come around. Oh, I'm off Gideon. Cool suit, dude. Disarm him. You were a talented people, but your time has passed. Mandalore will live on. Yeah, me. it's under new management. Take him to the debriefing room. Oh, the torture room. She, you should have killed him while you had the chance. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Whoa, whoa, what? What happened? What just happened there? This is the part where you return the dark saber to its rightful. Oh, no deal. She could cut through this door with it. Surrender the dark saber and tell these people that this planet is mine. She can't do that. Never again. This is the way. Uh, I told you to go through the the door. Oh, kill them. He's flying off. Let's go. Move out. I'll cover the rear. Oh, I hope we don't lose the big guy. He's my favorite. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. No! No! <laughs> Dude! He's all out. Yeah, kill them all. Hey, cool. He got them all. Is Muff Gideon still there? Oh shit. These are the good ones. He's screwed. He's going out like a badass. Hey, fellas, thanks for stepping in before the rest of your crew got killed. I just wanted to be cool and wait till the end. Forrick. You see, you knew it was an evil one because it had a red light. That's how you can tell in Star Wars. So we lost, um, what was his name? Paz, Paz Vizlas, something like that. The guy I liked, the guy who was in like every single season with the coolest weapon ever. And we found out in this season that he had a son. You know, he had that whole arc. And then in the end, he sacrificed himself. He closed the door, which look, let's just presume the last door can only be closed from one side and he couldn't have ducked under it once he pressed the button. Because there's no way those stormtroopers were getting... I guess they could have opened the door. Right, right. Yeah, there's no point closing the door and then running through the hole because they can just open it back up again and chase him. But I say chase him. They can only fit through that little hole one at a time anyway. It's a bottleneck. It's a choke point. We run through the hole and then we all stand there and we shoot anything that comes through it. It doesn't matter if you're a Praetorian Guard or Moff Gideon or anybody. That hole is so tiny that... You know, we could we could get a hundred of them. If they go one by one, the bodies would stack up. They wouldn't be able to get through. But that's not the point of the ending. The point is to have this noble sacrifice. The point is to show him being badass one more time. Even in the the face of certain death, with a new cool, you know, Praetorian guard people that we saw in The Last Jedi. You knew he was so dead at that point. He took out everybody else. He took them all out. Um, but yeah, even if he, as he was dying, he was grabbing him. I feel sorry for the character. You know, I'm gonna miss him. I would have sacrificed one of the the helmetless ones. I don't care about any of them. You know, just throw them to the wolves. I thought for sure when they were flying up with that ship with the survivors. You know. I thought for sure once we broke the cloud cover, there'd be <sighs> Moff Gideon would be there in a huge ship and it'd be chaos up there. And we wouldn't have heard about it because of the communication blackout. 
But nope, nope. They were just it was a it was just a trap on the planet. A whole a whole secret base. Hey, did whoever was writing this season just have pirates on the brain all the time? Because not only do we have the stupid pirate stuff <laughs> in the previous episodes, but in this episode we had like we had an actual ship. Like an actual water ship that was re it was like a hover ship or something. It's so funny though. You know? That guy some guy calling Starboard and I'm like, come on. Somebody's got a pirate show on the brain. And that ship was it was kind of pointless really in the end, because the dinosaur got it. You know? I felt like we we're just filling time. Actually, a lot of the middle of the episode from say minute six or seven to minute like ten minutes before the end all of that was just sort of it felt a bit drawn out and fillerish it was cool seeing at the start um off gideon in his little shadow council hints hints at the future um project what was it called Oh, necromancer or something. Talk of clones, Thrawn, all sorts of things were dropped in that conversation. And, uh, yeah, I presume they're just, I, I still feel like we're building up to something in season four. But, hey, maybe, maybe the final episode of this season will be a, a resolution of some sort. Mando has been taken to the interrogation chamber. I love the way Moff Gideon just flies off. You know, like he's in a James Bond movie. And now my minions will kill you all. I'm just I'm not gonna watch it. I don't even why I, I don't even know why I came to the planet. Just to give a speech? But I'm heading off. I just presume it's all taken care of. <laughs> I know, it's for the story, it's for the story, don't don't worry about it. And Grogu, that robot came back. You knew that robot, the stupid robot story from episode one, that made no sense whatsoever. It came back in an unexpected way. They decided, you know what, we don't need a, a new memory chip. We don't need new anything. We just set it up with controls, so someone can wreck it. It's got a yes-no button. It's got controls. <laughs> I'm not sure Grogu is going to be able to handle it. Like, he's not going to be... Let's just assume that his force powers will be enable him to navigate that droid with super fast efficiency, see? Like it used to be able to do. Because in this episode, it was more... It was very clunky. Very slow and very... It was kind of just for, there for comedy. With the yes and the no. See, once once a kid learns how to speak, that first few weeks is just... You just gotta put up with it, you know? You gotta, you gotta live with it until they get bored. <laughs> so yeah. Tactically, I think it's a, it's a bad idea. Comedy, it was a good idea. I like his little floaty orb thing. And him just having force powers. He doesn't need a droid to sit, sit inside. Hmm? I don't know, maybe maybe it'll work. The final episode has to involve some sort of rescue attempt. To get uh, to Man Mando. But I don't know how conclusive it'll all be. I don't know. Like, for instance, we could kill Moff Gideon in the next episode. We We could just kill him. I don't think we will. I don't think we've had enough build-up to killing him. We haven't had any real build-up at all. We've had whispers of him getting out. And then this episode, he, he is out in oh, a secret base and a oh, cool new Beskar. I've got this, the best armor and the best fleet and the best people. But to completely nullify all of that, especially given the Shadow Council meeting, I feel like it would just be a waste. I think we need a full season of dark stuff. 
and not just a, a happy ending and we'll make it up as we go along next season but we'll see no oh that was skinny pete wasn't it wasn't it yeah i think so i don't think his name came up at the end but i think i think that's definitely him very recognizable you know and not only do we have two mandalorian tribes trying to get along in this episode we had a third one a third one who stayed on the planet who were there all along wow and they were loyal to her and uh yeah we had all the story about her what happened and how Moff Gideon betrayed her and took the, the saber and all that stuff but as long as we're all united she wouldn't give it up at the end that's that's why we had that speech earlier she wasn't going to give it up again to him she'll fight to the death this time but as I was saying mid through, midway through the episode what we need to unite these these tribes is a common enemy and we've got one and once this battle's done you know we can get along and take back the planet and make friends with the dinosaurs yeah right I think that's all I want to say about the spies we got a bit of a mention of Dr. Pershing he's just fine he's just very hungover you know he's just been hungover for the last month or so I presume we'll see him in the next episode. Maybe. It would be odd not to, I think. I don't know if he's going to be on this planet or... Or what. But we'll see. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week for the finale. Have a great day.